Some of the world's most powerful infrastructure leaders are heading to Washington today to talk about ways to build our way out of this economic crisis. Here now exclusively on CNBC is Peter Barker Homek. He is the CEO of Taka. That is Abu Dhabi's national energy company. It's a semi-sovereign wealth fund because it's controlled by the government. Sir, we want to thank you for joining us today. Pleasure to be here. Thank you. You know, you look around for sovereign wealth funds. They are not investing in the financial services companies today, but there are investments, you say, to be made in infrastructure, correct? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if we look at the U.S. and President Obama's plan for the U.S., major infrastructure projects, the biggest investment in the U.S. since the 1950s, and TAC is here to be part of that. Yeah, in fact, you have a deal that you're announcing today. This is a joint venture that you're creating, TACA Gen X, where you're purchasing from J.P. Morgan all the power produced by the Red Oak Power Plant in Sayreville, New Jersey? That's right, and our joint venture partners in that are Semper Energy out of California and RBS, Royal Bank of Scotland. And we'll be looking at building that whole joint venture around other power plants. Why, why, why is that? Why is that an attractive place to be? Talk is invested in three areas, upstream oil and gas exploration production, uh, midstream around pipelines, LNG, and then downstream power generation, transmission, and distribution. Uh, is the message coming from Washington right now that uh, America is open to doing business with sovereign wealth funds when it comes to infrastructure? Absolutely. Um, we've had visits in Abu Dhabi from um, the U.S. Senate Foreign Relations Committee as well as the Department of Commerce, and they've been encouraging us to invest in the U.S. Is it tough to come up with financing for deals in, in a time for the credit crunch? Great point. Um, infrastructure pot projects, 95% of, of them get financing. Liquidity is so tight right now, what the country needs are sovereign wealth funds or companies with strong balance sheets to come in and basically bridge the financing gap. Is it tougher, though, for you to come up with funds as we've watched oil prices, energy prices collapse? Yeah, we're lucky. We're sitting on $5 billion that we need to invest. So we're hoping to do that in the United States. Do you see other deals coming down the pipe? Absolutely. We hope to announce two before the end of the year. And is it, is it safe to assume that they're going to be in the same sort of realm of... These are all power deals that we're looking at. So be, one will be in a physical ownership of a plant, which will be our first plant in the U.S., and then the other one will be a joint venture around power plants. Do you um, ever worry that um, after what happened with the port scenario uh, yeah. in the past, that maybe the environment for investing is not always going to stay this positive? The talk has made a big effort at communicating uh, to policymakers, both in Capitol Hill and also in the local communities where we invest. The chairman of TAC actually sits on the IMF committee on the voluntary code of conduct for sovereign wealth funds. So we think we'll be able to navigate the, the media piece. Okay. Peter, we want to thank you very much for coming in today. Thank you for joining us. Great. Thank you. I appreciate it.